Hey everyone, it's Meg and half of Boomy on his beanbag. He loves that beanbag. You can kind of just see his little snout and his sweet little eyes. <laughs> he spent so much time on that beanbag. We opened up the window so he looks outside and it's very entertaining for him. Um, but we are on episode 11, season three of The Expanse. And boy, oh boy, <laughs> last episode was crazy. Holden completed the circuit with protomolecule Miller, which we don't really know what that means. The investigator was heavily pressuring him to complete the circuit, and he did. He put his hand in something, like a little, I don't know, conduit, and he seemed to go to a different place, you know, seemed to be spiritual. He was kind of floating through a dimension and seeing light and stuff. So it kind of reminded me, I recently recorded my reaction to the Lego movie and there's a scene where Emmett touches the relic and he also sees, he has visions and flashes and stuff. It seemed like a kind of spiritual, ethereal experience. So that happened and it kind of seemed like it shifted everyone and everything in the ring and maybe hurt people. So we'll find out, but I am so happy you're here, and let's go ahead and get started. Oh, it was my birthday yesterday, which is all the decorations. It's my birthday boxing day. Holden, what was he doing? How the hell would I know him? Holden? Oh, no. Trap seen an RPG up the shaft. Why? Just do it and do not hit anything. That's an order. Yeah. We would have stuck here just like that. Good call, Gunny. Let's just get the fuck out of here. Oh, sh she's so good. She's so smart. Yeah, it really messed with things, didn't it? Did it, like, change the gravity of the ship, or... What? The Rosinante is purple. It's a... It's... Cyst? It's a cyst? What is going on? Oh my god. Yeah, she doesn't even know scientifically if she's okay to go out there. Like, this is so different territory. We can't expect anything. Yeah, that's very smart. Oh, I thought it just like disappeared to nothing. I wonder if other ships or people were also kind of disintegrated like Simu's character and then made into that wall. See, those are, that looks like the cysts. He does not look good. Oh my God. Stay with him. Come get me if anything changes. Whatever you say, Gunny. What, why is he mad? Or is he just tense? The Shusen is in pretty bad shape. Third of the crew dead, another third injured. <gasps> Whatever that field around them is, they can't maneuver in it. And they're being pulled into okay. on that station. I think it was trying to defend itself. Yeah. That kind of deceleration without any notice. Yeah, a lot of people just died. Okay. That's not a defensive measure. Okay. That's a oh. massacre. Well, it doesn't know that. It doesn't... It doesn't... I just... It, it's... Uh, it's hard. I know, like, something horrible just happened through our perspective, but I don't think it knows that. And I think Gunny's really smart to be just, okay, it's defending itself, thinking of it in that terms, not good or evil. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was not the place to be when that happened. The machine got me by the leg. No. The speed limit must have dropped for some reason. <laughs> She's insane. <laughs> I love her so much. First thing first, try to release the maglocks. Yeah, uh, agreed. That's Switch belters. You can just tell they've been through shit. They just have to keep a level head. You can jump the engine. What about the other people on the ship? Did they all die? Forward kills me, backward kills you. Oh, uh, someone will come looking for you. Nobody know I'm down here. What? 
Oh, come Mina, you, you are the captain of this ship. Someone should always know it. I needed to be alone, so I didn't punch out my first officer for his constant second guessing. Oh, Mama Sabaka. You and I definitely have a problem to work out. <laughs> Ouch. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh, yeah, they were fighting. Tilly and Melba. Oh no, is she dead? But didn't no, Mel didn't do that, right? I don't remember. Damn. Okay, she's okay. Anna's okay. She is also being remarkably calm through this. <laughs> oh no. What the hell? Blood warning. Oh. My god. Is anyone there? Alive? There has to be, right? I mean, it is it is a massacre, whether intentional or not. But it reminds me of like a natural disaster, the earth kind of defending itself. You could say the same about a tsunami. Okay, people are there. Oh my god, vacuuming the blood? I was taking a nap. I was strapped in my bunk. You're lucky. Oh, damn. There's nothing you can do for these people except ease their pain. What are you talking about? It, it's staples and sutures are all mostly injuries need. This is your first time in zero G? Yeah. Without gravity, wounds can't drain. Blood pools and clots, tissue swells, any internal bleeding is a death sentence. Oh. That's so scary. Uh. I see a hand terminal. The mech arm on my side have power. Oh my god, it's just floating. Yeah, grab the terminal. I can't see it from here. Okay, I'll guide you. <laughs> oh, you have to work so together. Cooperation. Quick. Okay, left. Right. Sorry, right. She said sorry. On the count of three. One. <laughs> Come on. Two. I want them to work it out. Stop. Ah, Open the grip. Grab. Got it! Uh, yes! Meta ingenuity at its finest. Yes! I love it too because they're both so headstrong and want to just. Uh oh, I'm scared. No box blue. It's gone. Well, if that isn't representative of the belt. The issues they face, even if they can get it together and work together, something else is going to mess it up for them. They're both so physical and having to, like, communicate and work through it with words is so against their nature. But they did it. It sucks. They did do it. I think they broke my arm. She's still calling her Melba, even though she knows. So where's Tilly? All the ships in this space suddenly decelerated at the same moment. Ouch. She's got a crazy pain tolerance. Can I just say that? Yeah. Oh. No, she's happy about holding. <laughs> Melba, you're so fucked up, girl. I love you. <laughs> she's just excited that the fucking holding is being swept there. Doctor, I need you here. That's cool. Tilly? Where are you? You left her there? Tilly, tell me where you are. Melba. I mean, that's that's her character, though. It's it's push and pull of villainhood. He's not going to get a free pass for what he did to the LT and everyone on the Shusen. Okay, he's... He... Okay, I see. Looked to me like he knew what he was doing down there. Like he was controlling No! We don't know that for sure. I fired She's him. seen this. to take him out. So maybe putting a bullet in him is the quickest way out of the shitstorm. Uh, that is so weird. Like, what are you talking? What? Bonk him in the head. Okay. <laughs> With the handle. Like, are you kidding me? He saw shit. Like, that's just yeah, shoot him. It. Stop being sassy. I'm sorry. I get it. Everyone's gonna be like, "Oh, imagine seeing your friend." But the. The instinct to just shoot someone because something happened. I don't like that, okay? 
fight or flight, I guess. But like, where's the logic, man? At the new speed limit, it would take about seven months to get back to the ring. Oh my god, I didn't even think of that. We'll figure it out. And the key to figuring it out is Holden. He's wrong about Holden. Holden's not a killer. He knows something. He must. He wouldn't have gone into that thing otherwise. Yes. Like, we no, even if he is a killer, us. yes, you need to talk to him. I mean, we saw, we saw Gunny go through this with her original crew, and she was so full of vengeance, and she went through, like, the exact same thing as them. Melba, what are you going to do when she tells Anna? Ugh. So she's not going to survive this. An emergency on, on deck 19. This is so sad. It's a bit away. It's your fault. Yeah. What? Oh, because she went to her. Tried to kill me. Why would anyone try to kill you? Tilly came with the receipts. Kill James Alden. Don't go. No. I'm not going anywhere. I'm All right the here. tears. Oh my god. That's so weird. It's gonna be okay. They have nowhere to go. T Tilly. It makes me grateful for gravity that our tears have somewhere to fall and just you're good. You're really good at this. And her face just like, I don't want to be good at this. <laughs> it's, and I might be good at this, but it still fucking hurts so bad. OK, Ash, <laughs> Ash Lynch, Ashford. <laughs> I love that he sings sea shanties because he's such a pirate. Singing will make you more interesting. <laughs> song for my daughter when she was six. daughter what was your most close call <laughs> ah. <laughs> we're a couple of gangsters speeding back the series to uh, yeah to see a girl <laughs> thank you for a romantic turn on the beacon pray to a god i don't believe in <laughs> And their blood. Still you not learn. Yeah. And still you not learn. <laughs> you didn't end up where you are by playing it safe, okay? <laughs> mm mm. Whose idea was the uniforms? Yours or Dawes? I sacrificed too much of my life to adopt the tradition of my enemy. All the poor and oppressed who ever fought for their equality dressed in what they This is another of your teaching moment I prefer for bleed out in silence. <laughs> <laughs> They're like the golden girls. I love them. Show that they are now one warrior. <laughs> yeah. Individuals can be divided and conquered, but symbols. <laughs> symbols endure. We are who we are. That's what make us Belta. But right now, they need to see us as one. This is a great conversation. <laughs> I will sacrifice my pride to make something mm. better for the future. I hope that one day, well. that what makes us Belta. Ah. Me was sick. And I to death. Till he go, till he go. Me was sick, and I to death. Me was sick, and I to death. And bowed with me every breath. For go with wisdom. <laughs> I love his harmony. She just sacrificed her pride to be to level with him. Ah, so good. How did I go from who is this pirate guy? I have no idea, you know, who he is. He seems like he's out to get drummer. You know, I don't know if I like him. I don't think I like him 
to like him absolutely squishing my heart. And he has me around his finger. Like, obviously we love drummer. We're on drummer's side. But the more that I learn about him, he's such a complex character. I would do anything for a series, a spinoff series with drummer, Ashford. Oh my God. I would love Ashford in the Expanse game. She's a service contractor. Her name is Melba Koa, K-O-H. Here, track her yourself. She's mad. Cause she's got her own grief now and she's mad. Oh. <gasps> Anna. Melba! Anna! Anna! Melba, listen to She's me. She's peacing out. You cannot escape what you've done. There is nowhere for you to go. The only thing that you can do is beg for mercy. Melba! Oh my god. You know, I what's so funny is I thought when Tilly was dying, I was telling her that that Melba was so lucky that she was telling Anna because Anna, I fell into that stigma. She's a religious person. She's patient. She's, you know, she'll, she's forgiving. She'll forgive her and understand. No, she's a person and her friend just died after trying to help her. She's a person with anger too and a need for justice. And she, that's what she wanted, justice. You can't escape. Are they okay? <sighs> oh, no, no. Where's Amos and Alex? So I wonder if the the documentary people died on the... Because they were on the Shusen, right? Oh, no. She braved the unknown to go save them. Uh-oh. Oh no, they were eating. So they weren't strapped in. <gasps> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Is that Naomi? Yeah. Oh, it hurts. He hit his head really hard. Where's Holden? And Amos. Minna. What do you mean? Welcome back, Naomi. Welcome back. <laughs> and I love that it became so normal in in Alex's mind that it was just he left with Miller. Like he was so afraid at first and concerned. And then he's like, no, he left with Miller. Oh, he was tinkering. <sighs> Oh, she loves him. You changed your hair. <laughs> oh, the way he's falling. That's not gravity. Isn't that so cute? That's not gravity. It can't be. Sinking into her hand. That's him. And she's always saved him. She's always been his angel. Like, he has his people, he loves them to death, and you can see why. Shit. Guys, I don't want him to die. I'll, I'm not gonna watch the show if he dies. I wish Naomi could save her, too. These moments, huh? Couldn't even bear for leave behind their old day and night. Or to pretend they're not where they truly were. Mmm, wow, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful line. Because it's so accurate. Chala! Oh. Chala, wake up! That's not how I thought it would end for me. Uh, no, no, it is no, not no, ending no. for you here. No fucking way, dude. Neither of you. I love you both so much. There's no way. Cannot afford to lose us both. Camino, what are you doing? <laughs> what? She gonna squish herself or him? The ship need a captain. She's. And you got what you want. There's still hope. I'll be optimist, I know, not yet. 
dead. Drama! Drama! Go, go, go! Get her out! 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 Right now! Get her out! Get her out, please. We need my tax in the machine elevator. Okay. Oh my god, she's so pale. Well, I mean, he's smart because he's, if you're actually not supposed to, like, really, you have to really assess the situation from what I've heard with, like, car accidents and stuff. Because if you pull something out or it could really, like, let loose an organ or something, so. Oh, the music. Oh, she's so sweet touching them. The way she touches them. That's our angel. How are you feeling? Isn't it, Amos? It's our angel. Back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Back to help. Back to stay. Back to stay. Stay. She looks so at ease. You're my family. Okay. Does he have abandonment trauma? <laughs> There's so much in that okay. He really Here's missed her. It's because of her. You hurt? We stuck. Same as every ship in this place. Then we spin the drum. The drum. They never spin up the drum before. It could tear the ship apart. Which would leave us hardly worse off than we are now. Prepare to spin the drum. I don't know what that is, but the fact that it's the drum, she's becoming a symbol to him. And it doesn't even matter that they don't understand. Only the two of them understand how much she was a sacrifice like he was talking about, a symbol like he was talking about. He, She did that. She took what he was saying to her and did that girl <laughs> it's like she's trying to be jesus you know like god sending his only son slash daughter man he's not in there are you kidding me all for that man and trust me i get it trust me i get it with the parents but at what point is enough enough? Just grieve your sister and go to therapy. <laughs> That's way easier said than done. But what the fuck is she doing? He's not there. Get her, Naomi. She's full villain mode. This is an entire fucking villain. She could literally be a DC villain. Where's Holden? Tell me where he is. He's not here. Tell me and I'll make you stop. Even if he was here, I still wouldn't tell you. No! Are you all right? <laughs> yes, queen. Oh my God, she's a perfect character. She's the best. She did not stand by like a lot of traditional modern, I mean, modern religious persons do. She chased after her. Oh, the religious stained glass and the blood all over. Rotation stable. Effective gravity at inner surface. 113! I want to talk to all the ships in this place. Channel open. <gasps> this is Klaus Ashford. Klaus of the Ashford. I have a message for all the ships in this infernal place. Infernal. Bring your wounded here so that they may heal. You will be welcome. Belters 
embrace all of you. Our orders are unchanged. We're to bring Holden to the Shusen for interrogation. <laughs> Bunch of skinny saving us. This place keeps getting more and more fucked up. They've got the right idea. We're all in the Seriously. Shit together, and this is the only way we can Literally. Tell him, Gunny. <gasps> Good morning. Holden? I saw something. Oh, man. Damn. But what, is it really of the future? Is it a possibility? Is he kind of like a prophet who was meant to see that, to avoid them? I cannot with all of the religious parallels. He reminds me of a prophet or someone, you know, in the Bible, like Noah's you know, that reminded me of Noah's Ark with the, you know, healing, taking some people there to survive the flood. And, and Ashford even described it as an infernal place, like hell. They're literally in hell. Some kind of afterlife. It's not reality. But Holden, you know, kind of symbolizing the prophet and, and seeing or being told that this could happen, that it's the world could end and this is how it would happen. You know, and the tears falling down his face, it just reminds me of, you know, almost like a, a schizophrenic person or someone who's either like has a, you know, a mental illness or is very spiritual and like actually saw the future, had a deep intuitive impulse or thought and the stories that are told of of these oracles and like the emotions that he felt. And I don't, I don't know if he's mentally going to be able to recover from it and him being the chosen one just for a smaller reason. Like it's not that he is the chosen one because he's perfect for the job and he, you know, was born a certain way and he has all the talents and capabilities. No, Miller died on like he became proto molecule and then proto molecule miller chose holden like it's not that he's really all that special and that's the type of uh stereotypical chosen one story that i like when it's not this uberly talented super trained person is the one who sees the end of times and blah 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 blah, blah. like no it's um just a regular guy and they've made him an every man since the beginning he hasn't wanted power he hasn't wanted you know to be anything super capable he's just trying his best <laughs> i feel really bad for him i think that would break my mind so let's hope he can get through i'm really excited for naomi and him to reunite because i think that their love is very grounding and i think that you know he can get through it with her so um yeah and i wonder now if the proto molecules intentions are like complete the circuit so that you can see this and then we fix it like maybe i don't know i don't i hesitate to even see the proto molecule as having a very small objective or something that we can fully understand as humans but you know it seems to have a very strong desire to like live and it has a strong goal and i do wonder if it is like i don't think it wants the end times i just that's my intuition i don't know i think most things want to survive most life wants to survive when you think of evolution and um survival of the fittest and stuff like the goal is to survive so yeah it's just interesting to think about he s completed the circuit and saw the end of everything and i feel like the proto molecule like again it's just not gonna see individual lives as that important it's gonna see the bigger perspective so when you're saying when people are saying it's a massacre yes to us it's a massacre but I think it's better understood maybe in terms of like a natural disaster, like a tsunami 
or an earthquake or, you know, some of these fires and stuff that happen because of the natural, either global warming or just the seasons of this planet. That's what I think of. But I, you know, there's still so many questions to be answered and we're discovering little by little. But Ashford, drummer, Anna really, really stole the show for me. Asher became such an interesting, complex character. He always was, but I love that we got to know him little by little. He was super guarded and mysterious. And that whole scene with them at the end, I think was very representative of the Belter struggle and, um, you know, having to talk things out and, and work together when it's just such a big wide array of people and communities um, who have not as many rights as Earth and Mars and the inners. And it's just such a hard task, but they're so resilient. And, you know, and they're meanwhile, they're dying as they're going through this and talking about the future of the belt and how to get there. It's just such important conversations that, you know, they're having while they're dying and also trying to like get through you know and I just wonder you know we learned about his kid last episode he watched his child burn and he has that burn mark and then he revealed it was his daughter and the fact that we know it was his daughter I wonder if a lot of what was happening with him and drummer had to do with him seeing her as a daughter and showing her kind of tough love of like you you could have that optimism um, as she said you know when she was sacrificing herself there are still some optimists I've learned and she looked at him and I think you I could be wrong in this but at least partially I think he wanted her to be the best captain that she could be it didn't seem like he wanted to be captain. But to anyone else, even me, uh, it could seem like he wanted to be captain. But I think he was trying to like train her and uplift her. And um, there's that age difference. And, you know, also representing like an older and a younger generation of trying to figure out how to sort through problems and me and my patrons have kind of talked about this but as you get older you kind of just want to avoid as much conflict as possible and there are various ways you can do that to just kind of maintain the peace but he really he really 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 wants to just maintain peace and he showed that like he wants to help people at the end he was almost emboldened by her sacrifice you know just bring your wounded here bring your bring them here to heal that's such a generous offer and it's dangerous and so it's a very brave thing for a captain to do when by all means people are probably feeling defensive and scared and to just kind of open up your doors instead of closing them and building walls to open them up and give your full name when he wasn't he wasn't even doing that. I didn't even really know his name until way later. Um, and we, I was just trying to get these little pieces of information. But so I definitely think Drummer inspired him in that way. Like, you know, instantly get the medics here. We're going to do this, you know, really scary choice of going into the spinning the drum um, and getting that the gravity. I don't know exactly what it is, but it could have killed everyone <laughs> Eric and it could have caused even more casualties but instead it provided a place for people to heal and not die and it's just like such a beautiful thing and for it to be in the Mormon ship that was made for religious purposes you know and so the backdrop of like the belters coming in do you guys remember that shot of drummer floating in like you know I think of in the Catholic Church, Jesus is like always floating because he's on the cross and he's always so dainty in those um, certain church depictions of him with the stained glass, even though he's like crucified on the cross.
but he always looks like so saintly religious he's like floating and i just remember her going into dropping into the ship and looking like such a significant religious figure and it just being so you know kind of funny but also moving because here's this belter girl who swears a lot and like i just i think it's so interesting anyone can be a hero i think that's what it's showing and then your traditional religious person anna actually going and seeking someone out for justice because she just watched her friend die and like follow her you're going to answer you're going to be begging for mercy and following her and delivering that justice by tasing her and then saving Naomi and the rest of them on that ship. The contrast of that, you know, it's holy. Everyone is holy except Melba, who was trying to do the kind of sacrificial lamb thing. Like, I'm going to find Holden and blow everyone up and yeah, it'll be a, a sacrifice. It's just, I love how they're exploring the religious themes and making everyone holy no matter what. And, you know, there's Mormonism. I see Catholicism. I see all these different types of religious tropes and stories and and people. And it's just so smart. It's so well done. I really loved that episode. Oh, my gosh. Um, R.I.P. Tilly, that was sad. But thank you so much to my tier four patrons, John G. Robinson, Light Yagami, and Louie for producing this video. And thank you to all my other patrons and channel members for going above and beyond to support me and everyone else on this experience journey. Oh my gosh, season three. We got two more episodes before the end of this season. <gasps> it's crazy. Um, well, we know that it's not going to be the end of the world. Hi, Wuna! Or the end of the worlds. Because there's two more seasons. Oh my gosh, good morning, Bambi. That is so cute. Oh, good morning. Is it almost your dinner time? Yeah, you know we're saying hey. Umi's still waking up. Well, I'll see you for the next episode. I love you guys a lot. Bye.